Here's an episode of How to Analyse Poetry from the Learning Cauldron. Today, we'll be looking at Edwin Morgan's poem, Good Friday. Analyzing poetry involves identifying and dissecting the literary techniques that the poet uses effectively to explore the theme or themes of a poem. In his poem, Good Friday, Edwin Morgan explores the themes of religion, social class, and its relation to education. The title of the poem is Good Friday, and that is the day that Jesus was crucified and died. This introduces very neatly the theme of religion, which runs throughout the poem. Interestingly, Morgan was an atheist, and yet he chose to mention religion in several of his poems. It details a chance encounter between the poet himself and an inebriated man on a bus in Glasgow. The setting of Glasgow is mentioned when we see Bath Street, and the fact that it's on a bus immediately comes up in the first line. We're also told the precise time that this happened as well in a minor sentence right at the start of the poem. The word choice of lurches brings us straight into the heat of the action. And here we see the lurches round into the sun. Interestingly enough, into the sun comes up later and brings the poem round full circle. When the man starts to speak, and he goes on speaking the whole way through the poem, almost until the end. It's obvious from his speech that he has been drinking. Zis go, and the nice sibilance of the S's there and the missing vowels in between helps to convey this to the reader. So as I said, the poet introduces the scene and then almost immediately hands over to the gentleman who has flopped down on the seat beside him. The flow of this monologue is made very natural and chatty in tone through the use of frequent pauses, which are shown here using the dashes, and also the fact that he asks questions. It sounds extremely natural as he speaks. We also see here when he says, oh, that's, that's all right. Again, he's the poet is reminding us that the man has probably partaken of a few beers, and yet his heart is in the right place. He hasn't spent all his money on the beer. He's also wanting to go and buy some Easter eggs for his children. He's open about what he's done. I've had a wee drink, you understand. And he also is aware of the fact that he probably, he may well have been a lapsed Catholic, and if so, he should have still been on Lent on Good Friday, because he says it's a funny day to be celebrating. He's aware of that, but he's trying to justify himself. He wasn't working, so he wanted to celebrate. Here, the poet uses the structural technique of repetition twice. I don't say it's right. I'm no saying it's right. You understand, you understand, to try and emphasise the man repeating himself, which would be very natural in a normal chatty conversation, particularly if you'd had a couple of drinks. And then we move on. He's asking questions still. I'm no boring you, eh? Very much Glasgow dialect, as many of the words in this poem are. And that makes it feel really authentic. Edwin Morgan came from Glasgow and he was very proud of the city and all its people. Gradually, we begin to see that the man is very aware of his class. He is aware of the fact that he is not well educated. And the next few lines highlight this. He says, I don't know what today's in aid of whether Christ was, and then again we've got two of these dashes, almost parenthetical, crucified or was he? He's not sure, rose for the dead like. And the juxtaposition of rose for the dead, and then the word like, the dialectal slang, almost adds a touch of humour here. But then he speaks directly to the poet and says, you're an educated man, you can tell me. So he's obviously aware of the fact that this poet looks as if he comes from maybe a middle class background, and that he himself is a working class man. And in fact, he goes on to say that the working man has no education. And that is a very poignant moment, showing that he almost accepts that that's just the way it is, that he will not have an education because of the social class he belongs to. And this seems a very sad indictment on society. The structural technique of enjambment here helps to emphasise this point, with it running on the working man and onto the next line has no education. His self-deprecation continues with the word choice of bloody ignorant to describe himself. And the harsh sounds here of the B and the D and the G help to convey the man's slight frustration about his lot and yet acceptance of it. He's stating a fact, and this is repeated as well, which hammers home the point even more. The reference to Christ I hear where he takes Jesus' name in vain is slightly ironic given the fact that it's Good Friday. And then just as suddenly as it began, when the bus lurched round into the sun, the bus breaks violently, and then more verbs, breaks violently, lunges for the stair, swings down, and he's gone. This whole little episode is finished, and the poet watches him walk off into the sun, 
And we mentioned Into the Sun at the beginning there, so there's a cycle here. For his Easter eggs, reminding us of the religious theme of this poem and also the kindness of this Glaswegian man. And then the parting gesture, which is very effective, is that the last line is staggered over these four lines. It rhymes, so it is technically almost a rhyming couplet, eggs and legs, but this beautiful structure here helps to convey the fact that he is not steady on his legs, so it's mirroring the movement of the inebriated man, and he walks off, and the encounter is over. A chance encounter, just as there are in a couple of Edwin Morgan's set poems. And this poem leaves us with mixed feelings. It brings to our attention the fact that society is becoming perhaps more secular in that we tend to focus on the Easter eggs at Easter rather than on the actual religious meaning. It also leaves us feeling sad for the plight of the working man who has no education. He's a good, decent, hard-working man from everything that we can gather here, and yet because of his class, because of the class divide that Morgan is so aware of, his chances are not as great. I hope that's been helpful. See you next time.